Hey everyone, it's Intel here, and this video is going to be on my brand new custom keyboard that Minutech made for me, which I've just been calling the Minutech keyboard. So Minutech built me this keyboard about four or so weeks ago for a video that he made on his channel, which I'm going to put down in the description below because you guys should watch that video, it's a really great video. But I've been using this keyboard for about three or so weeks now, so I'm pretty confident in giving my thoughts on it now. I do want to say though, massive shout out to Minutech for actually building me this keyboard, it means a lot to me, appreciate you dude. But anyways, before I actually get to the keyboard itself, I do want to explain why I got another custom mechanical keyboard in the first place. Some of you might recall that I had a custom GMMK Pro keyboard built that I made for myself that I said was going to be my endgame mechanical keyboard, and I did intend for that keyboard to be my endgame keyboard, however, after I posted my video on it, I started having some problems with that keyboard. The first problem was the whole input lag problem, so the keyboard used to have a ton of input lag which made it really annoying for doing things like speed bridging or playing rhythm-based games like Osu. Glorious did end up fixing this with a Glorious Core software update, but even even after installing the software update, I still felt like I would get random input lag spikes that were really, really annoying. And the second problem that I had with it was that random switches would just keep failing out of nowhere. This happened to a total of about 8 or 9 switches on the keyboard, which is a lot. Luckily, I had replacement switches though, so whenever one switch died, I'd just swap it out with another one. But this problem made me lose a lot of my confidence with the durability of the keyboard as a whole, and when Minitech offered to build me a new custom keyboard, I was more than happy to accept. When Minitech asked me what kind of keyboard I wanted, I told him two things. I said that I wanted something that was stealthy and something that was silent, and I think that he really pulled through with this keyboard build. So the keyboard itself is a KDB65 Lite R3, and it uses lubed Helio switches with lubed Duroc stabilizers, and Enjoy PBT blank keycaps. If you're not a keyboard nerd, and you have no idea what any of that means, then don't worry, because I'm gonna break it down for you guys. The foundation of this keyboard is the KDB67 Lite R3. Jesus, what a mouthful of a name. This is comprised of a matte black plastic 65% case, a hot swap PCB, and a polycarbonate backplate. 65% refers to the size of this keyboard, so when compared to a full-size keyboard, this keyboard loses out on the function keys, numeric keypad, and navigation cluster, but it maintains the alphanumeric cluster as well as the arrow keys, the end key, the delete key, and the page up and down keys. Because of this, this makes this keyboard super small and compact, which is really nice, but also maintains enough functionality for me to use. It's the perfect size for me, but keyboard size is something that is personal preference. Moving on to the keycaps, these are, as I said before, enjoy PBT blank keycaps. Blank keycaps are basically keycaps without any legends or fonts on them, so in my case they're completely black. This is something that I think looks really really good aesthetically, it makes the keyboard look really stealthy and minimalistic in my opinion, but obviously if you're someone who needs the fonts and legends to actually see what they're typing, then this keyboard's probably hell for you. I personally can touch type though, so I have the positions of pretty much all the keys already memorized. There's been a few times where I haven't been able to hit one of the function keys first try, but these instances are really rare for me, and I'd still prefer having blank keycaps in this keyboard. I think they just look really, really clean. And finally, moving on to the star of the show, let's talk about the switches. This keyboard uses lubed Helios switches, which are a silent-based linear switch. Silent switches are something that people either love or hate. For me personally, I really like the feel of silent switches. They have a much more cushioned bottom out when typing on them, compared to their non-silent counterparts, which have a much harder bottom out. It's sort of comparable to membrane switches, where membrane switches also have a very cushioned bottom out, but they also usually feel a lot more mushy. Once again, I really like the feel of these Helio switches because of that cushion bottom out, but it's for that exact same reason that people really don't like silent switches. So you really have to play with them yourself to get an actual feel for them and decide whether or not you like them. Besides that though, these Helio switches are silky smooth, especially when lubed with Crytox 205 grade 0, and the weight of them is what I'd describe a medium weight, I'll post the actual weight on screen because I can't remember it off the top of my head. It felt a little bit awkward to adjust to them at first, because I came from super super lightweight linear switches on my GMMK Pro, but after using it for a few days, they feel completely normal now. The Helio switches are also very quiet. I mean, why wouldn't they be? They're silent switches. Even though they're quiet though, they actually have a really nice, satisfying sound to them in my opinion. I'll throw up a sound test right now so you guys can let me know in the comments what you think of the sound of this keyboard.
All right, so in the three weeks that I've had this keyboard, I have loved my experience with it. It is easily the best keyboard that I have ever used. So far, I haven't run into any problems like with input lag or with failing switches, but if I do in the future, then I will let you guys know with a follow-up video. But yeah, this keyboard's easily my new main keyboard. Minute Tech, congrats, you did a really good job on this one. But anyways, with that being said, I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video, so thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to help support me and my content, you can consider buying my Lunar Client Cosmetics, which are going to be in the description below. Once again, massive shout out to Minute Tech for actually building me this keyboard and making this video possible. I really do appreciate it, man. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.